This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at the Duelist Chrome extension, one which will allow you to split your screen and is a handy tool to use during Google Meet calls. In the first part of the video, we'll take a look at how to install and use the extension to set up side-by-side -side viewing, and then how to present when using a split screen so that you can present only a content window to your students while you can see them on one side at the same time that you're presenting to them. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to install the Chrome extension dual list. In order to do this, you first need to be sure that you're signed into Chrome using the account that you want it to work under. To check to see if you're signed into Chrome, be sure that you click the three dots in the top right go to settings and ensure that you're signed in and syncing to the school account or whatever account it is that you'll be using for the call. Once you're sure that you're in Chrome, you can search for dual less Chrome extension and it should bring you to the page that would allow you to install. Confirm that you're in the right page by looking at the top. It should say that you're in the Chrome web store and I'm going to add this to Chrome. I'm going to need to accept the permissions for this extension. And I notice now it's installed up here. It looks like two windows side by side. So now that I have this installed, I can close this window. And what I want to do is I need to select the screen that I want to separate. So what I typically recommend is that you actually want to select the Meet tab at this point. This is the tab that I'm going to need to separate out from the other tabs. I want it all by itself to show the students and then I'll have a collection of other tabs that are the content that I want to show during the call. So if I click on the Meet tab before I hit the Duelist extension, what it will do is it will give me choices about where I want that Meet tab and what it should look. So I do, do I want the Meet tab on the right or the left and do I want it smaller or bigger? So I'm going to choose to have the Meet tab on the left and relatively smaller compared to the rest of the tabs that I have open. So if I click this now, it scoots it off over to the side and then the remaining tabs are separated out into their own window. Now let's take a look at what you would do as the teacher to then share your screen so that the students are not seeing what will appear as a grid view of their peers on the left that's only for you, the teacher, to see. I want to be able to only have my kids show um, and see what is in this side of my screen. So what I would do is I would choose Present Now, and I'm going to choose a window. And when I select a window, I have the Meet as one window and the, and the tabs that have my content um, as the other window. I'm going to select the Content tabs on the right, Notice I have a box around them now showing that I selected them and now I can choose share. So now what's being presented on my screen for the students will be this uh, content screen over here. Thanks for watching. For this and other help with using technology with your students, check us out online at teachingforward.net.